the Holy Spirit. And Father God, we believe that not one weapon formed against your people that should prosper and not that we'll be able to stand. Father God, I bring the word as you wanted me to bring it to your people in the fashion you wanted me to bring it in. Father God, whether they understand it clearly or not, Lord, it's not up to me. It's up to you. And so, Father God, it's up for you to place in their hearts the way you should be. So, Father God, I declare right now in the name of Jesus Christ and us as we finish out this series. I'm asking you, Father God, let it be a word that will touch them in every part and every area of their life. That they may understand and realize, Father God, that you are the God, the only God that rules over the heavens and the earth, that even in the midst of the situation that's going on, whatever it may be in their life, that you are already declaring the creed according to the Spirit, that there will be not one weapon formed against them should prosper, and nothing will be able to stand. I command this word that the word will go forth, and it will not come unto them void, but accomplish all that in their end. I think you said, if you join me on this four-day uh, series, you know, that, that ninth verse is still sticking with me. It, it's still holding me. I know I'm going to come back at it. And I'm going to get a little bit more insight how we should look at that because there's something going on with that area of that ninth chapter and that, uh, that 31st and 32nd verse because it's dealing more than just what we see from the, just the, the speaking about the, the historical point of view, how the blade is it, more, it's dealing with us as a people and our rebellion, how the word declares the creed that we fail because of the lack of knowledge. So I want you guys to understand and realize that, that, that pastors don't pull anything over anybody's eyes. I want you to know that God loves you. He cares for you. In the midst of him caring for you, I believe that he's got the power to go against. We got The bill has been given in the name of Jesus to move forward in such a way that it not be a weapon for me that's such a prosper and nothing will be able to stand. God bless you. God keep you. Thank you for joining me here at Harvest New Life Church. And we'll talk to you guys on tomorrow at our actual area dealing with the uh, Psalms report. God bless you. Thank you for joining me here at Harvest Church. <laughs>